But first, let's dig into the analysis tab. I'm going to stretch this screen out. This is where you can see your budget versus actual variance and your quantity analysis. I'm going to take uh, this perspective. I'm going to start with this perspective here. So it's labor by subsection, and we are on a landscaping job. This is multi-trade. So let's uh, switch over to material just so you can see the difference. This is material by item group, and I'm going to switch this over to subsection. Same thing, so you can see that it'll also break it out by area. Now, to see how this information gets into the system, go back and look at the job startup and pre-con video. It'll explain everything. Let's uh, switch over to, see, there's no red here. I'm going to switch over to a job that's not doing so well, and it's got some red in it. Here we go. We got 2,400 square feet overage in quantities of this material. So because we have everybody in one spot, I can complete the investigation right from here. I'm going to drill in. There's no Excel sheets, nothing. You don't have to chase anybody down for anything. I can drill into the PO and I can see what material, or so I can see the actual PO that put us over uh, the budget there and I can see who approved it. Awesome. Now let's get out of here. And remember, we have a live connection between bidding field and finance. So without doing anything, with no imports, no exports, no custom APIs or anything being done, the field has access to the same information or as much information as you want them to have. And an example in this case is I go to my job breakout, I've got my foreman hat on, I'm on the field with an iPad, and I wanna see my live material breakout in quantities. Here it is, my purchase of remaining and if I go over to labor, I see my remaining hours and remaining man days by activity type including pending and approved change orders. Nobody had to do anything. No email sent, no report sent, nothing. Now it gets even better. So let's say you want the foreman to have the purchase orders as well. Every single document that goes to the field, we strip the pricing out so they have enough visibility to see what materials in this example are coming and then they can take action with the packing slips and make sure that AP has everything that they need to go out. So in this example, I'm just gonna open up this purchase order. I can see all the materials that are coming. Again, no pricing. I can take actions here where I'm taking a picture of the packing slip, making any notes of anything that was damaged or didn't show up, any back order information. And then this information automatically comes to AP. Now, when that purchase order is created, the cost hits the job at the time of the purchase order. You're not waiting for the invoices to come back and the invoice is having to be entered before you get a true committed cost. Okay, so it's a little difficult to show you everything in a couple minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cycle through some workflows and concepts and finish off with one single report and ask yourself how many problems we solve as I show you these. Okay, hours, monthly billings, variants. I bring up the Foreman app again and I go into time cards, remember, we're way beyond integration. This is a live connection between bidding field and finance. You do not have to build or manage any integrations, period. So this is a single employee time card. I can enter to our cost time and production that they completed. If you want to go from a production by employee perspective, I can switch over to teams and complete time cards and production by a crew or I can come into the job progress and enter into percent complete and quantity complete, percent complete or quantity complete, either or. It's the field's, field's uh, choice. Um, you can enter that in the app. Now watch this. Just keep that in the back of your mind. I'm going to close this down so I can see more of the menu. I'm gonna hit the projection. I'm gonna open up this, actually there's an open cost projection, and I will stretch it across the screen here. show production units. You can see the production units or the opinion that has come in from the field. The project managers can override it with their opinion and indicate the reasons why. This will automatically feed the live WIP analysis, which you will see if you take a look at the financial management video. Now, check this out. I'm gonna come out and I'll step off to the side here. I'm gonna print this PCV report. We're not necessarily changing anything about what you do. We're just making everything easier and live at a glance at your fingertips. And here's a good example. Here's your budget versus your actual with remaining your projection. Here's some high level status reports. This will show the last 10 projections so you can see how the projections are trending. And if I scroll down again, 
this information is live, you can automatically set this uh, on the scheduled reports. So it hits your full distribution list at any time or frequency that you set. I keep scrolling down, this baby's gold. Just awesome.